All right, y'all, made it out here to the lake. It's a beautiful day. Got some sunshine, it keeps, uh, keeps changing between sunny and cloudy, but I think it's gonna be a good day out here. Super high winds, it's like 10 to 12 mile per hour winds. Kind of blowing me around in the kayak, but uh, I just launched the boat at the boat dock. Man, there was something going on at the put-in. Some guy's motor had fallen off and he'd hired a diver, so <laughs> had to kind of park and put it in a different spot. But either way, we're out here and I've got the worms from home and I've got my spinning set up. Bobber rig with a split shot and a size one true turn hook. I'm about to toss that around and hopefully not get blown around too much by the by this wind, but hopefully we're gonna pull out some bluegill. Let's go. Got one. Heck yeah. Oh, another weed seeker. All right, cool. Another bluegill. It's a good eating size right there. Not bad at all. Got some darker colors. Real pretty fish. Got one. Feels like a little bluegill. Oh, bass action. He's wanting in the weeds too. Heck yeah, we actually got this bass in. Man, it makes me just wish I would have got that one earlier. All right, well, not too bad, little guy. All right, well, I'm out of worms. Had an okay day so far, done a lot of searching, but uh, finally seem to have found some on this little point over here. And I, since I'm out of worms, I'm about to switch to the Leland's Panfish Magnet. I got a float, the Leland's float, and then I got the Catalpa Panfish Magnet. And uh, we're just gonna get this sitting horizontal. We're gonna cast it out. See if any, we can get any takers. I'm about to pull back up to the point and I'm gonna anchor. Got one. Oh gosh, we got another weed diver. All right, we got a bluegill here and a bunch of weeds. <laughs> gosh. Heck yeah. Golly, he's deep in these weeds. Hey, not too bad. That's a good keeper size right there. Not bad. Got one. Heck yeah, feels like a bluegill. All right, man, it's getting a little later. Yeah, I think that's helping the bite. 
I just checked my clock, it's almost 7.30. Oh gosh, another weed one. Okay, he's out, he's going back though. Heck yeah. Man, switching to the panfish magnet. Taking care of business. There we go. Got one. Heck yeah, same spot. Let's keep that boy out of the weeds. Heck yeah, a little shell cracker action. Man, all I had to do was spend the afternoon locating them. And now we're on them. It took me a long time <laughs> to find this little area. It's a little point out here. Got another one. Oh, he's off. Got one. Man, that was not graceful. I'm trying to control my paddle. Stay out of the weeds, boy. Heck yeah. Another bluegill. Man, it's Memorial Day. It's turning into a pretty good panfish day. Got one. Heck yeah, this one feels pretty good. Or maybe he's in the weeds, I'm not sure. Oh wow, I think we got a good size one. Okay, no, not huge, but good bluegill. Dude, all I had to do was find where they're at. There we go, good eating size bluegill. Got one. Heck yes. Oh wow, this one feels really good. Oh, don't get in those weeds, boy. No, did I lose him? Okay, he's still on. Oh man, another guy covered in weeds. Man, we've been fighting these guys all day through the weeds. Reeling them in, looking like swamp monsters. Yo, this is what this is what I used to look like with my long hair. <laughs> oh man, that's the new me right there with the clean cut. Look at that, that's a good sized bluegill. Man, we just been wearing them out in the same spot. Like I said, I switched from the uh, Catalpa color to the pink color let's see I'll show y'all here if I can get the weeds off of it there it is right there a little split tail and I've got a little small float right above it man they're just gobbling it up in the same spot one thing you got to do is you got to kind of monitor it Make sure it's sitting horizontal. You gotta kinda make sure the plastic's on there good. But as long as it's sitting horizontal, then uh, if the bluegill are here, man, they will grab it, no doubt. Man, this is a blast. I 
absolutely love targeting bluegill. That's what I came out here today to do. And it's funny, man, I searched and searched on the worms, but as soon as I found them, just switched to the panfish magnet. And man, it's honestly been pretty easy. The You don't have to keep rebaiting like you do with the worms and you just keep throwing it out there. And man, that plastic they use seems to be a really strong plastic. Oh, there's another one. Honestly, man, you can catch quite a few fish for each of those little plastics. There's no doubt. They do not get tore up easily. I might start bringing like some super glue maybe and kind of gluing them on there, get them to hold a little bit better. One of my favorite fishing YouTube guys, Richard Jean, I know that's what he does a lot of time with crappie uh, lures. Just kind of super glue them on. Just so they hold just a little bit better. Not a bad idea. Now I think we got a couple Actually, I'm not sure what animal that is, but maybe a otter or something. I think there's two of them, and I've been seeing them out here. I think that's an otter. I could be wrong, though. Beaver, maybe? All right, y'all. I think I'm going to call it a trip right there. We got a little bit of light left. It ended up kind of clouding up and getting pretty overcast, but, man, today ended up being a good day searched the lake pretty much all day with those worms and really didn't find anything until i found this one little pocket but i uh, just kind of hung out here and actually ran out of worms so i started using the leland's uh panfish magnet man that worked great use like a talpa color and uh, the little pink and purple one there at the end but it's basically just a little plastic little split tail grub and uh, it comes I'll show you all the packaging, but it comes in uh, with a little 164th ounce jig and basically these little panfish uh, floats. So it's all kind of this package. And man, it's a great setup for bluegill. It just wore them out. And uh, man, I've also got the Leland's TCB rod. So pretty much is doing the whole system today. But man, it was so fun. Memorial Day was a success. And uh, man, glad I came out here. Memorial Day always marks the anniversary of the channel. This is a three year anniversary. So man, we've been going for a little bit and feel like we're picking up steam. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. We're gonna keep the videos coming this summer. It's just a good little day out here on the lake. Peace.